In this module, we'll talk about data quality and how it's integrated or how you can use it with Master Data Management Multi-Domain Edition version 10. Version 10 of NDM was released November 2014. In this module, we'll talk about some of the new ways of how you can use the Informatica platform, in this case, data quality, and integrate it so you can leverage it with NDM. In this module, we'll talk about various assumptions and prerequisites, what the objectives and the target audience are, and also what is data quality. I'll pause and explain what is data quality to give you an overview. Then we'll go and talk about the tool, the Informatica Developer, which is the tool that can be used with the data quality transformations to perform data quality. I'll mention various reference materials and provide a slide demo. Firstly, the assumptions. This is not product training. This module is to introduce the concepts as well as the new features that relate to data quality in version 10 of MDM. So I highly encourage you that you should have some working knowledge or prior knowledge either from other classes or work experience of MDM. If you have knowledge of Informatica data quality, such things as mappings, transformations, even better because MDM version 10 ties both of these solutions or tools into an ecosystem. So this presentation, again, will not teach you the product, but present high level concepts. And then you can take individual courses to learn the various topics discussed here. In, in terms of one warning or tip is that in order to leverage the Informatica data quality, you do need to make sure that you have a license for it. So what I'm about to discuss assumes that you have a license for it. If not, then you may not be able to use the functionality described here. Also, another tip, I really do believe that you would be an awesome developer, an awesome team contributor, maybe a power user, if you learn the data quality tools. Informatica has many courses on how to use the data quality tools. And if you know that, it's merely a very simple way that you can leverage that to use with MDM. So we'll talk about the Informatica developer, which is part of the platform. Talk about what is data quality. We'll look at the tool itself and look at some transformations. Hopefully you'll appreciate and fall in love with this, that you'll decide that you want to take additional classes in this. The target audience for this module are the MDM configurators or developers, the architects, and I've included the data quality developers, the data preparers, and the business data stewards. So in, when we talk about data quality, we want people who know what is good, what is bad data, what should be good data, how do we make bad data into good. All that is data quality. Of course, when we're using it with MDM, our objectives are smaller. We want to bring in source data. We want to look at it and apply the various data quality transformations to cleanse it. It could be as trivial as making all the first names uppercase, all the, say, phone numbers formatted, or it could be very complex to have linguistic parsing, to have matching, to have sorting, to have aggregation. Let's get into Informatica MDM and how it can leverage the data quality tool from Informatica. What I mean, what I mean by integrated data quality, and this is, this is a little bit ambiguous. I could have used the word seamless integration or integrated or collaboration. What I mean is that Informatica has a product call data quality. It uses the Informatica developer tool to create mappings or maplets, which are the solution ob objects that help you get data, transform data, and then output the good data elsewhere. In MDM, we are going to use the same concepts. We're going to use the Informatica developer. And if we have the license, we're going to be able to use the data quality transformations. And the goal is much narrower here. We're going to bring in source data, transform it, 
and that data that's transformed will be sent to the staging tables of MDM. So data quality by itself, an Informatica developer could do much more. In regards to the collaborative form of with MDM, it's strictly talking about staging the data into the MDM. So part of the learning curve is to know what is Informatica developer. You can review another module that talks about the Informatica platform and developer, or you can take additional courses. You can also read or take classes that talk about the data quality transformations that can be used to standardize data, validate, enrich, perform data discovery, pro profiling, address, and much more. So the objective here is that now, now we can align your MDM implementation with your data governance practice. Instead of looking at the data people, the data stewards, business stewards, and the IT folks, those that know data and MDM, we are collaborating. The IT folks could work with the data stewards and the data stewards could work with the IT folks more in a collaborative format. And as it turns out, the data stewards will be empowered to do more of their work so they can quickly be able to analyze data, transform data uh, faster than always depending on the IT folks. And so we're looking either collaboration or share responsibility. Don't forget there is a license that you must have if you want to leverage data quality. What is data quality? In our standard Informatica courses, we talk about this at length. Here is just a summary. What is data quality? Well, a, it could be a set of business processes that measure and improve the quality of certain data on an ongoing basis. It could either be when we bring in brand new data or as we transform this data monthly, yearly, etc. That's up to you. It ensures that data dependent business processes and applications deliver expected results. What is data quality? How do I know I'm done? Well, you don't know. It is measured against your objectives. In our case, our objectives are to bring in data, transform the data so that we can then load it into the staging table. It could be to concatenate and make first name and last name uppercase, to reformat the addresses, to validate the addresses. It could be to format the ID numbers or say the addresses, etc. It really it depends on what is it that you're after. And so some examples of dependent business processes is data mining, customer segmentation. These are just business areas. And of course, it can be a lot more. What is data? Well, we can probably agree that data is a valuable asset that represents an organization's data, say a customer, an employee, a supplier. It could be products and its services, activities. It could be outcomes and results. In other words, data is anything that fuels your business. Data quality management are business processes, either data governance or business processes that you use and implement using Informatica Developer. For example, profile the data, standardize, match, duplicate, and consolidate. And again, we would use the Informatica Developer as a tool to create these mappings to perform these objectives. In terms of Informatica data quality methodology, we are usually measuring the quality of our data against the six dimensions of data quality. When you take our formal courses or you read the Informatica material, you know that there are, there are many, many more dimensions than the six, but these are typically the ones that we are measuring every row, every column of data against these, completeness, conformity, etc. For MDM, we may not be interested in all these metrics, or we might actually be interested in more. For example, uh, the ranking, the trust factor, etc. Again, conceptually, this is just talking about the dimensions of data quality. Now, going back to the data flow diagram, those of you that have taken Courses, for example, the MDM hub, config, hub configuration course has, you, you guys, you have seen this diagram. In the module that talks about the platform, we've also seen this. This is the way 
that data is brought into the MDM hub and ultimately leads to the based objects, which ultimately lead to the golden records. So notice how we have the landing phase, the staging phase, the load trust phase, and then the match and merge. Finally, the golden records. Well, with MDM version 10, we can still do it this way. Or where I put the red boxes, we can actually do the what's in the red boxes, the cleansing. We can do this in Informatica Developer using the data quality transformations. So I call this the data quality phase. We either do it as we've always done it in MDM, or now with version 10, we can do this part in the Informatica Developer. This is similar to the discussion we have in the module that talks about version 10 Informatica platform onboarding of data. Now, what is this? Well, if you recognize this, it's either because you already know how to use Informatica Developer or you review the other version 10 module on the Informatica platform and developer tool. This is the GUI interface that a developer using Informatica Developer would use. What's in the middle are those pretty icons. Those are transformations. So we would introduce concepts such as mappings, maplets, logical data objects, which would be the source data. And then we would apply various transformations. We have lots of transformations. The more you know the transformations, the more adept you are at changing the data. And so again, I encourage you to take the various courses that show you how to log into the Informatica developer, how to create logical data objects, mappings, maplets, and how to use the transformations. Now, in terms of transformations, we have lots of them. If you have the proper license for data quality, then you will be able to use various data quality transformations. For example, the case converter. Others not listed here could be the parser, the models, etc. So we have a lot of transformations. This is not an exhaustive list. If you review the module on the Informatica developer with MDN version 10, you will see that we could use the sorter, we could use the expression, we could use the filter. In other words, it is the same tool, the Informatica developer. What is different is our learning of the various transformations to accomplish the different data objectives. Now tips, I encourage you to take the short e-learning course called the Informatica Developer Tool, an introduction. It is a self-paced on-demand course. Of course, you can take our longer courses, the data quality courses. They will take you from step A to Z of how to log in, how to use developer, and very, very much go step by step on how to create the various logical data objects, all, all the objects, the mappings, maplets, and transformations. Okay. Now, data quality processes are part of the onboarding of data. Let me repeat that. Even, Although Informatica has the data quality product, when we talk about data quality within the context of MDM version 10, we're pretty much focusing our discussion on the onboarding of data. So again, it's just how do we get data from a source to the staging tables. If you have these products, data quality, you can do much more, but we're focusing only how it relates to MDM version 10. In terms of reference, I encourage you to log into mysupport.informatica.com. It will require that you register and log in. Thereafter, you can download all the documents, the release guides, release notes. You can, various documents on the various MDN versions. Say you're going from 9.7 to 10 or 9.5 to 10. How do you know that you can, you can migrate, you can upgrade? These documents will show you that. So I highly encourage you to read the documents before you try to upgrade or migrate your projects in MDM. One of the documents that I highly recommend is the full document set. Instead of trying to find each document, just look for the MDM document set, download it and uncompress it, and you'll see that it's all the documents that make up MDM version 10. In summary, MDM version 10 was released November 2014. Like any product release, it included 
bug fixes, upgrades, but it included many new features. I encourage you to review the module that introduces version 10 new features. It's a long list of features that were added. And here in this module, we focused on one, the features that deal with data quality and how to onboard data into the NDM. That's all we've done. We've narrowed the scope just to that. Now, I encourage you to take the various classes. And as I said, the more familiar you are with Informatica Developer, the transformations, the more of a power user you will be. And you'll see that it really enhances your productivity for loading data into the staging tables of NDM.